Ibrahim and Dr. Felicia. Morning. How may I address you, sir? Um, you can call me Ellen. Okay. So, Mr. Ellen, what brought you to see the doctor today? Um, I'm having shortness of breath for the past one month. Okay. Mm, can you describe more about the shortness of breath? Um, because for the initially it's just when I walk upstairs, yes. I feel very breathless. But um, for the past one week, it has it has uh, worsened to the point that when I'm sitting down, sometimes I feel like I have some difficulty in breathing. Okay. Before I even start, do you have any medical conditions prior to this? Um, I I have diabetes for the past five years. I've been taking uh, one single pill for that. Okay. Um, hypertension as well. Okay. Uh, also on one type of medication. Okay. Thank you. Back to your shortness of breath. Is it associated with any leg swelling? Do you have any leg swelling at all? Mm, now that you mentioned it, actually for the past three months, I do have some leg swelling okay. that is worse in the evening. That is worse in the evening. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ten. Do you find it difficult to even use your shirt? To do you find it breathless when you even use your shirt button up, you get you can't breathe? Yeah, for the past one week, yes. Yes, yeah. so even to use your shirt. Yeah. May I know how many pillows you use to sleep on the head? How many pillows um, on the head? I, I use three, three pillows. Three. What happens if you use one? I'll feel like drowning. You feel like drowning, uh, you can't system. breathe. Yeah. This has also been going on for the past one month, I presume? Yes, one month. Okay, then how about while sleeping at night, do you suddenly get up catching your breath? No. No, that you don't have. Yeah. Okay, okay. Have you been prescribed any medication so that you have to urinate out? No. No, yes. nothing like that. Okay, did any doctors tell you that you have to control your fluid intake? No. No, never. Never. Okay, so otherwise, any other uh, palpitations? Do you feel your heart beating fast? No. Chest pain? Uh, no. Never had any chest pain? No, never had chest pain. Okay. So, other besides that, uh, any other fever, difficulty in walking, any joint pains, one-sided weakness? Um, no, uh, difficulty in walking will be limited by the breathlessness. Breathlessness yeah. and the pedal edema, yeah. the swelling over the legs. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, no on your diabetes and hypertension. Are they controlled? Uh, I I will go to my GP. Yes. He told me he's well controlled. Once a year visit, but I never check at all. Okay. Um. Any family history of any kind of heart diseases? Um. My mother had a heart attack at the age of sixty three. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I have an uncle with a stroke. Okay. Sure. Um. I, about your cholesterol, have you checked it lately? Um. I'm not sure about cholesterol. You're not sure, yeah. so I've never checked it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll just summarize here that you actually came in with shortness of breath, worsening leg swelling, and um, the shortness of breath is debilitating. You can't even button up, and all this have been going on for the past at least one to two months, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything else that you like to add? Um. Yeah. No. Okay, and your checkup for your, your your diabetes and hypertension has only been going on in the GP. Yeah. Yeah, and you never check it at home. No. Okay. Anything that you want to ask me? Um, no. No. So, with this, I think we have got a clear picture on what is going on here. So, we have got, I think, fluid overload. Few investigations need to be done here. First, we'll start off with bloods. And we might even do a chest x-ray for you. We need that to see the heart, the size of the heart, whether there's fluid. And number three is echocardiogram. We'll scan your heart to see. And from there, we'll take it to see what is actually going on. If it is in heart failure that what we are thinking of, then yeah, there are medications that need to be started. And we'll get you going from there. Maybe further on, we'll talk about angiogram and all, but that's not now. And we also need to see your kidney function. Sometimes fluid overload can be caused by kidney diseases. So blood needs to take. So we'll start by blood taking first, and we'll take you on from there.
Is there anything else that you'd like to ask me? No. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Allen.